In this demonstration, we will walk through how to configure notifications to alert the appropriate stakeholders that they need to take an action to successfully renew an ACM certificate. In order to follow along with this walkthrough, you will need an IAM role with the appropriate permissions for EventBridge and SNS. So first we're going to start to create an SNS topic using the AWS Management Console. And this will allow us to link multiple endpoints such as AWS Lambda and Amazon SQS or send notifications to an email address. So now we're in the console and we've navigated to Amazon's simple notification service. We've already selected a topic name, and then we're gonna select next step. We want the type to be standard. Here is the name and you have the option to select a display name we can do ACM certificate renewal. Then we are going to scroll down and leave everything else as default and select create topic. Now your topic has been created. Next, we need to create a subscription to the topic to set a destination endpoint for the messages to be pushed once the ACM certificate renewal action required event is triggered. So let's select create subscription. For protocol, we are going to select email and for endpoint, you enter your desired email address then select create subscription. In the subscriptions tab of the topic that we just created, you'll see a new entry that says pending confirmation. So now you'll need to navigate to the inbox of the email address you chose as your endpoint to confirm the subscription and complete setup. After confirming the subscription, you should see the status change confirmed within the AWS console. Next, we will create the event bridge rule that will be elicited once an ACM certificate renewal action required event occurs and triggers the SNS topic that we just created. So we've navigated to Amazon event bridge within the AWS console, select create rule. We're going to give the rule a name and leave everything else that is default for the sake of this demo, select next. Event source, we're gonna keep it as AWS events or event bridge partner events. Under sample events, we are going to select the ACM certificate renewal action required. And so this sample event is just going to allow us to validate the event pattern that we're going to create and make sure that it matches. Under creation method, we're going to use the pattern form for event source, of course, AWS services. Then under AWS services, we're going to select ACM, so certificate manager, and for event type, the ACM certificate renewal action required. And I do want to note that you do see the ACM certificate expired, ACM certificate available, and ACM certificate approaching expiration date, which these event patterns are conveniently available for you to create rules for them as well. Next, we're gonna test the pattern and we can see that the sample event matches the event pattern. Now we can select next. For select target, we are going to select the SNS topic that we just created. Select next. We will not be adding tags, but if that is your preference, you can add. We want to confirm that everything we created is accurate. And next, create rule. As you can see, our ACM certificate renewal rule has been created. In this demo, you learned about the Amazon EventBridge event types for ACM certificate renewal action required. And we showed you how to utilize this event type to create a workflow with EventBridge and SNS that notifies appropriate stakeholders when they need to take action to enable ACM. If you would like to learn more, visit aws.amazon.com forward slash certificate dash manager.